Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to WWE Aftermath. It has been it has been quite the situation here tonight here in, in this location that I don't know yet. That's how hectic it is. I don't even know where we are. Uh <laughs> So I, if for those of you who weren't at the uh what are the last straight to hell pay-per-view, Curtis Axel announced that under the advisement of Seth Rollins, he is gambling the lives of his employees with the meteor to try and get Bo Dallas back at Survivor Series. And let me tell you, the the lads, the boys in the back, they are not happy about this. Yeah, we got new music. We're here in Madrid, Spain. The boys in the back are very unhappy about having their, uh, their lives toyed with, gambled on without their consent. Uh, we had a lot of walkouts today. A lot of people just uh, just leaving in protest of Curtis Axel's decision. So there's, we're, we're about to see some new faces here tonight. Um, we had to fill in some blanks. Uh, you may you may never see some people again. I don't know who's ever gonna come back, but I know we've got quite the show because Curtis Axel he's he's doubling down. He says we need to prepare for Survivor Series. It's all on the line. As a reminder, at Survivor Series, it's Aftermath versus Starfall. Champions versus Champions, a Survivor Series match, all kinds of other stuff. And every time a show wins a match, they get to randomly steal someone from the other show. And that's why tonight, Curtis Axel has announced two title matches. AJ Styles will defend the Global Championship against Daniel Bryan and uh, Kevin Owens will defend the World Heavyweight Championship against the Messiah of the Meteor Seth Rollins a little bit of nepotism there Curtis Axel says it's on bias says this is just what it should be you know he, he, he says hey we, we gotta we gotta make sure we have the best champion you know, we can't go out there having stinker matches like you did against Drew McIntyre at the pay-per-view. Uh, also, how's the volume? But, with, you know, those are our two main event matches. Right now, we've got a different big match because this match right here will decide the captain of Team Aftermath at Survivor Series in the Survivor Series elimination match. One of these two men will be leading the charge. Hand-picked by Curtis Axel, and let me tell you, it's two people who are legends here in Universe Mode. But we haven't really been seeing them much. In fact, uh, have we seen either of them in 2K20? I believe the answer is no. At least not in singles competition. Well, this isn't Aleister Black. It's it's just someone else. That's right. It's Slender Man, a former member of the Orphan Cripplers. And someone we have yet to see in singles that competition here in 2K20 Universe Mode. He ran wild in 2K... Was it 18 Universe? Did I do a 2K19 Universe? In the last Universe Mode, him and Venom ran roughshod over the entire tag division. Of course, Venom uh, currently horribly fused with both Carnage, with Neville as their host haven't seen him at all that that sure was a weird thing that happened at the draft and then he hasn't appeared on any of the shows since but either way slender man making his 2k 20 universe debut could possibly be i mean i would dare say this would be a great were they the power mongers of 2k 18 you could say that they they definitely crippled some orphans I think they were the longest reigning champions. They were they were the the killmongers, if that's what you were trying to say. They were very much the killmongers of 2K18. They were tearing people. In fact, I would dare say that would be an insane match. That would be like a WrestleMania level match. Killmongers versus Orphan Cripplers. But you know, there's no, there's no Venom anymore, so <laughs> that's not happening. But we are going to see, I'll tell you right now, I know who this next person coming out is. We're going to see an insane, honest to God, a WrestleMania level match right here. Two actual heavy hitters making their 2K20 Universe debut. And the winner will be the captain of Team Aftermath at Survivor Series. Oh, 
Dunk's getting that drinky. He knows it's going to be a hot and heavy match. He needs the water down because here comes Slenderman's opponent. It's Batman. That's right. The winner of like two or three non-canonical Royal Rumbles. Back when I used to just do random rumbles on the channel, Batman just kept winning them. An absolute legacy. A, a legend in this industry. A king. Some would dare say a potential future Hall of Famer. I would say they're both possibly future Hall of Famers. Does the bitrate look fine to you, or does it look like absolute stinky dog shit? Because that might just be my playback. Everything look fine to you? Sometimes my Twitch video player, it's, uh, it's not fantastic. Sometimes it gets a little stinky. Sorry, it's not. Alright, and here we go. This matchup starting off. It does seem a bit bitty. It might have been the entrances. I can definitely see it in the background. Like in the, uh, the, the baseball field, I can see some chunk in bit rate. I don't know how bad this looks in the actual wrestling match. You're going to have to let me know. We saw a nasty... Oh, 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 by the way, this is Falls Count Anywhere. Forgot to mention this is a Falls Count Anywhere match. Sorry, I was a little distracted. There was a lot going on today. We, we almost saw the end of Aftermath as we know it. You just didn't see it on camera. This is a Falls Count Anywhere match. These two men are going to have to hold nothing back. If you want me to try and adjust the bit rate, I can. But if you think it's fine for now, I'll let it, I'll let it go for now. Anyway, Slenderman going for an early pin. But you're not going to get rid of Batman that easily. So we, we are guaranteed a winner here tonight in this Falls Count Anywhere matchup. One of these two men will be the captain. If I look for it in the baseball field, I see it. But if I paid into the match, it's fine. All right. If you need me to pause and try to adjust some stuff to try and get it better, just let me know. Otherwise, we'll let it slide for now. I did spend an hour trying to get this stuff working. Oh, Batman showing off his crazy strength. But Slenderman, he's just too tall. Oh, oh what's he going to do? Oh, a sleeper. A sleeper hold by Slenderman. Choking him out. Batman in trouble here. But Batman tosses him aside. Uh-oh. Wait, what's he doing? What is Batman doing? Oh, he's looking for the bat elbow. Never mind. No, he's not the bat salt. I thought, I thought he was going to do the people's elbow there. He did the taunt for it. Batman now with a tiny DDT to Slenderman. Oh, Batman's taken down worse, worse villains than this. This is nothing. To, to old Batman. My hero. Right here. Slenderman slowly getting back up to his feet. Oh no. Oh, what is what is Batman planning up here? Going all the way to the top. Showing off for the people of Aftermath. Batman. Honestly, Batman would be a great team captain. Oh my god, the super bat arrow. End of the pin. One. Two. Two. And Slenderman kicks out. Batman would be a great team leader for Team Aftermath as he wants to save as many people as possible. He would do his best to make sure his team takes out Team Starfall and they can save people from the meteor. Oh, he went for a super kick, but Slenderman able to dodge it. Irish whipping him over the top rope. Oh, Slenderman's getting pumped up. The crowd loving this opening matchup. These two titans clashing to open up Starfall. And Slenderman gets Batman back in the ring. Doesn't want Batman to get his hands on any weapons. Slenderman might be a dirty fighter, but Batman, his whole gimmick is gadgets, pump super kick. The bat kick. Oh, he's juking. He's juking dunks. What's, what is this? Oh, roll through. As Batman has him picked up. Oh my god, the batarang. The, and the crowd hates it. Boo! This must be Ben Affleck. Two! And Slenderman kicks out of the Batarang. Oh my god! Slenderman is so over with the crowd. What is happening? 
<laughs> Why is the crowd so behind Slenderman? Kick to the gut, and he's picking Slenderman up. I don't even know what to call that move. One, two, and Slenderman still kicks out. The Batmobile. I don't, I, don't, I don't know any good Batman moves other than the batter, eh? Slenderman real dazed here as Batman catches him. Snapmare driver. I'm sorry, the bat the Batmare driver. Every move has to have bat in it. What are you even doing? Did you just punch him in the nipple? Uh-oh. Batman rolling through once again. For the oh, torture bat neck breaker. Kick to the gut. DDT pl planting Slenderman on the ground. And he's getting pumped up. Slenderman's too tall. Oh, the Dark Knight. That's a good name for the suplex. That's a good one. Thank you. Oh, my God. A spear. A spear. And it's falls count anywhere. One. Two. Batman kicks out. Did he spear in the end of the, end of the ring post? Incredible spear from Slenderman turning this match around. The crowd's going fucking ape shit for Slender Man. Oh my god. Dude, this this crowd might riot if Batman wins. Dude, they're going nuts for Slender Man hitting that spear. As Slender Man getting Batman back up to his feet. Punch to the face. Michinoku driver on the hard ground, but Batman kicks back up the fighting spirit of Batman as he tosses Slender Man aside in this opening matchup. Who will lead the Survivor Series team? Oh, roundhouse kick to the gut, goes for the super kick, Slender Man dodges, Batman rolls behind. Using all of his years of martial arts training to take advantage of Slender Man here back into the ring. Uh oh. Batman with a knee to the back. Followed up by a quick stomper into a pin. No row breaks here in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Slenderman still kicking out, though. Oh, oh he's coming up behind Batman. He's going to get him. No! Elbow from Batman. Who rolls behind? Picks him up. Northern Lights suplex. But he rolls through. And lifts him up into a spinning brain buster. All the combos here from Batman. He's got him already, but Slenderman... Reversing, sending Batman over the top rope. And now staring him down, suplex back inside the ring. Didn't realize Batman's entire rogues gallery lived in Madrid, Spain. I guess that would be one place to hide from Batman. Michinoku driver! What is Slenderman doing here? Yeah, maybe, 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 maybe Madrid's just full of criminals. Oh my god! The, the, the bat beat down! Kick to the gut, and he's got him up for the Dark Knight. Into the pin. One, two, three. And Batman wins. Viva Sin Cara. That dude wants Sin Cara to lead the team. Batman winning his 2K20 debut in a very close and intense match against Cylinder Man, and this crowd is not going to be happy about that, but I personally think Batman is the right man to lead this team. <laughs> Damn, now he has to arrest all these rioters. It, it really does seem like a split 50-50 crowd. Is this game fun? No. No. I'm sorry to tell you, this game is very not fun. <laughs> Yelling over it being broken can be enjoyable sometimes. I wouldn't know, because I don't play online if, if other people play online. I, I, am, I am unaware if people do. A lot of people played online when I got it like two years ago. Can you show me the feature? I cannot. We are in the middle of universe mode. Speaking of which... It's time for a very strange matchup, like I said. We got a lot of new faces here tonight as we're going to go from a Falls Count Anywhere match into a No Holds Barred match 
I, Madrid really is just like a do whatever you want kind of place, huh? There's a lot of shit talking Madrid here for some reason. Have either of the. I know these people have been on the show before, but have they been like in singles competition? The answer is no. I, I would also like just. I mean, I presume you're getting it because it's a dirt cheat, but I would also. I would just wait for the game that's coming out in like two months or something. It's time for two more people from uh to to make their uh their singles action debut debuts here and it's the gobbledygooker here to advertise Survivor Series. That's right, everybody loves this funky turkey man. Oh, look at him dancing. He's here to remind you all that Survivor Series. There's, there's a lot on the line. People may die. People may get sucked into the meteor. But you know what? It's also going to be a fun show with fun things like the gobbledygooker, maybe. But he better watch out because he's an active member of the roster. The gobbledygooker could get sent to the meteor. But who? Who is going to fight the gobbledygooker in this festive, no-holds-barred match? I feel like gobbledygooker has never wrestled an active. I'm also pretty sure he hasn't. This other guy who he's facing, I'm pretty sure has been in like a battle royal or something. I could be mistaken. Actually, I feel like he was in like one of the Money in the Bank matches or something, or the Feast or Fire. I don't know. I feel like I've seen him before. I could be mistaken, but we're gonna find out because go the gobbledygooker is in a no-holds-barred match against Darby Allen, and he's got the weapon ready. Darby Allen's got the kendo stick. It's Darby Allen and the Gobbledygooker in a no-holds-barred fight. Just a battle to the death. <laughs> the, the, oh, the crowd's excited. The crowd's ready to see this ass woman that Gobbledygooker's about to get at the hands of Darby Allen. Oh, he's swinging! He's going mad! The crowd loves it! What happened to his skateboard? They confiscated it in, uh, in TSA. He couldn't get it into the country. Oh my god, what happened to his kendo stick? He threw it down. He doesn't need it. He let go of it. He said, I don't need a kendo stick to beat up the gobbledygooker. And here we go. This match is underway. And the gobbledygooker actually hitting the first attack. I thought that dude was wearing a Ben 10 shirt behind the ref. I thought that guy behind the referee had a Ben 10 shirt on. Darby Allen with a drop kick real quick out of nowhere. Gobbledygooker got a little bit of offense in. But Darby Allen, he's not having any more of it. Or is he? As he gets pushed aside. Oh my god, flying clothesline into the ropes. Darby Allen just kind of pounces him into the corner. This has already devolved into a straight up fight. Don't forget to purchase Survivor Series for free 99. Only. On Twitch TV. And don't forget, you too can suggest matches for Survivor Series after Math vs. Starfall that you think would be great to see. Oh, big punch there. Followed up with a big gut check. Oh, and the gobbledygookers getting the crowd together. They're all doing the chicken dance in the crowd. They love him. And they're all getting excited for Survivor Series. Darby Allen getting hung up over the ropes. Oh my god, Darby Allen is getting the shit kicked out of him by the gobbledygooker. I can't believe this. Oh, nice dodge there by Ed Darby. Super kick into a drop kick right there. Finally able to turn things around here. Taking enough of a beating from this turkey. The gobbledygooker has him again. Kicking him in the back, but Darby Allen gets right back up. Into a crucifix driver. Going for the pin. One. Ultra, I think you missed Gobbledygooker getting everyone in the crowd to do the chicken dance. He's very over. Oh! Flying clothesline, which Darby Allen tries to dodge with a pounce, but he still gets clipped in the arm by it. You can see Gobbledygooker's leg caught him in the arm. Oh, drop kick to the back. 
takes him down. Nobody's pulled out any weapons yet in this no-holds-barred match. This isn't false getting away. This does have to end in the ring, but there are no countouts. As Darby Allen gets him up, Irish whipping him into the barricade. I don't know what's Darby Allen planning here. Uh-oh. Punching him multiple times, just taking him out. Just doing some heavy hitting damage. Uh-oh, where's he taking him? Just send him into the barricade again. Nice left hook. As these two lock up. And Gobbledygooker pushes him aside. Gobbledygooker's very big. He has great strength. Getting back in the ring. Just waiting. He wants to finish this in the ring soon. He's ready to end it. Or maybe not. He says he's catching Darby Gallon off guard. Been a bit of a sloppy match. And Gobbledygooker is shockingly going to be the first one to get a weapon. He got Darby Allen's kendo stick. That's the kendo stick Darby Allen brought to the ring. It must have fallen out under the ring, and Darby Allen gets it back from him. And he's using it against the Gobbledygooker, trying to tenderize that meat, but Gobbledygooker gets it back. It's a kendo stick fight now. As he sends Darby Allen in the ring, he could be looking to finish Darby Allen off. What's Gobbledygooker going to do? Oh, the Thanksgiving nap. He's got it locked out. The crowd hates this move. They're tired of sleepers here in Universe. Everyone has a sleeper. But Darby Allen able to kick out of it. Kicks him in the gut. Oh, what is, oh, he's looking for a suplex. But oh my god, the turkey stomp. The turkey leg from Gobbledygooker. And the, oh, what is, what is this? Oh, the chicken drop. One, two, three. He just pinned Darby Allen. Gobbledygooker just, just pinned Darby Allen with a gobble gobble to get a big win in this no holds barred match. What a show. This has been so far. What a, what a surprising upset victory here on Aftermath. Be sure to turn into Survivor Series only four weeks away. And come on, everyone. Let's do the chicken dance. Every, look at everyone standing up. They're dancing. Do the chicken dance. Yeah. Whoa. Look, he's, he's going. He's boogieing. What a fun character. But now it's time for the fun and games to come to an end. Because it's it's time for a... There's, there's, there's nothing on the line in this match. This match is just happening. It's Randy Orton and Eric Rowan in a one-on-one -on -one singles match. When was the... Is this Eric Rowan's singles debut? Hold up. This is definitely not Randy Orton's singles debut. He's five and eight. What is it? Was Rowan? Where's, what, what's he looking at? Eric Rowan's zero and one. I think he's like a month one. You think the Gobbly Gooker is a pardoned turkey? No, I think he's an A wall turkey. I think he's constantly on the run. I think they're trying to get him. I don't think he was pardoned at all. I think he's a fucking criminal. I think Batman is gonna get him. I think, I think, I think Gobbledygooker, uh, fucking, uh, ran away to Madrid, Spain to escape Thanksgiving, and Batman, and he just happened to hop the fence and join the crowd. That would explain why he's in Madrid. Exactly. Speaking of criminals, Randy Orton, haven't seen him in a while piece of trash I remember that nobody liked any of Randy Orton's matches but I don't remember what matches Randy Orton had I think some of them were against Kevin Owens maybe Seth Rollins but I have no idea either way Randy's here, Randy's live. We must be low on members of Axel's letting him on the show. 
Well, yeah, I mean, he's also facing another... This this is just to show that not everyone walked out. Randy Orton's still here. But he... he, he you know what? The other person has had a match before. I think it was literally in the first month of the show, and he lost, so... Uh, it's certainly something. After the betting fiasco. Oh, shit, you're right, that did happen. He did throw the... Yeah, wait, was he the champion? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I have to look at the list. He was, he was champion for a day. He held the... Seth Rollins beat Freddy Krueger, held the title for two months. Randy Orton beat him, then threw the match to Daniel Bryan. After a day. I forgot that happened. And then Dave beat Daniel Bryan. And then Kevin Owens beat him a day later. <laughs> I forgot that happened. Anyway, it's Eric Rowan. He's looking chunky. Eric Rowan looking real thick. Looking built like a fucking tree. Anyway, Eric Rowan's facing Randy Orton. Two former members of the Wyatt family. Honestly, Randy might have been hiding in Madrid as well. Dude, Eric Rowan might have been hiding in Madrid for all we know. He hasn't been here in forever. Dude, looks like he's been hiding on Madrid. Oh my god. He's built like Ivar, but tall. Dude, they're already chanting for RKO. Maybe Randy Orton was hiding out in Madrid. They were, like, chanting for him instantly. Randy Orton might be a... Is Randy Orton the current mayor of Madrid, Spain? Is he the people's person? They, they, were, they were all in on Randy Orton chanting RKO. Oh, my God, what an STO. To the possibly, perhaps, maybe secret mayor of Madrid, Spain, Randy Orton. Randy getting him up. Nice little spinning neck breaker there. Dunks, do you have any scoops? Do you have any scoops about who the mayor... Does Madrid have a mayor, Dunks? What's the political compass of Spain? How do they work? Do they have mayors? Is there just one president of Spain over everyone? Let me know, Dunks. I didn't do so good in geography. Dunks is busy licking his booty, so he's not listening to me. Anyway, I think Madrid has a mayor, and I think it's Randy Orton. But that's just the rumor going around. Uh, uh, don't tell anyone you heard it from me. Tell them you heard it from Dave Meltzer. Let him take the blame. Big single arm choke slam from from Eric Rowan. Axel said everyone fly to Madrid. Everyone said no, and Axel had to make a do with who lived in Madrid. No, I think I think Slenderman and Batman flew out to Madrid. Like, like, I, I feel like, 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 Slenderman, he's, he's, he wants to lead the team, he's coming out. Batman has his own jet. The gobbledygooker was already in Madrid. Darby Allen, he, he flew out here. He's just a good employee. Uh, I think these two lived in Madrid. I think these two were hiding out in Madrid. I thought he was gonna hit a jumping DDT. It's like the second time he's done that move, and I've never seen him do it in real life. Or in universe before. Look at the crowd mimicking him. This crowd is all in on Mayor of Madrid, Spain, Randy Orton. This is this is the people's mayor. This is Randy Orton's a man of the people here in Madrid, and they're they're, they're doing his taunt and everything. Big punch from Eric Rowan, but Randy Orton fighting back. Uh oh, Irish whip into the ropes. Big boot turns him inside out. But Randy gets right back up to his feet. Oh! Out of nowhere, catching Eric Rowan with a vintage Randy Orton DDT. And the crowd, they don't want to see that. They want to see the RKO. They know what they came here to see. Oh, but he doesn't want... Oh, they're booing. They want to see the RKO. Randy <laughs> Rowan's out here trying to squeeze the voices out of Randy's head. That's a good line. That's a good commentary line. Damn, brother. Wish you were here to still do commentary. Oh! And that's what the crowd wanted to see. And then a stomp to the back of Rowan's head. He ain't done with him. He ain't done with him out of that RKO. 
He wants to do more. He's going to RKO the beard off of Eric Rowan. Oh, and the crowd loves it. What a punch. He's getting pumped. Hit him with that drop kick. He's getting juiced. Eric Rowan slowly getting up to his feet. Randy spins him around. Kick to the gut. Randy says, N I'm sorry, Rowan says, no, no, no. Just stomp him in the corner. But Randy gets right back up. Rowan's not going to let him. Rowan catches him immediately. He was prepared for Randy Orton to get back to his feet. He knows what it's like to fight the snake. Randy's getting revenge for the voices because they're the ones who understand. They talk to him. Are the voices in Randy Orton's head just the, the residents of Madrid, Spain? Telling him the laws he should make. Eric Rowan again. Oh my god! And that redwood leg lariat like a tree colliding to Randy Orton's head. But that gas, Eric Rowan, was that enough time for... It was plenty of time. Cannon now? That was... That, that little breather Eric Rowan had to take gave Randy Orton plenty of time to kick out. Punch to the face from behind. The Rowan full metal slam into the pin. One, two, and Randy Orton still kicking out. Eric Rowan with another stomp. If <laughs> Randy Orton just missed the drop kick. Oh! Oh, oh, is he going for a choke slam? Massive choke slam to Randy Orton. But Rowan's not done with him yet. Punch to the gut. What's he what's he doing here? Eric Rowan's busting on all the moves. Massive follow-away slam almost hit the referee. The crowd's starting to get behind Eric Rowan. They're starting to think this dude's pretty sick. Got some big powerhouse moves. Maybe Randy's actually a bad mayor and they just wanted to see the RKO. Maybe they want to see Randy Orton get the shit kicked out of him. Big headbutt from Rowan. As he goes for the pin here. One. Two. Randy still in <laughs> Rowan for mayor. Is Eric Rowan going to lead a resistance and overthrow Randy Orton from his mayorship in Madrid, Spain? Are we witnessing a revolution live on TV? Randy Orton pushes Eric Rowan aside. And another big punch. And that's the elbow drop there. Oh, Eric Rowan rolling out. Both these men kind of colliding a little. In and out of the ring. Randy's... Oh! That might have knocked him out. That might have knocked him out. That was a nasty right hook. One... Two. Oh, that almost knocked him out. I've never seen a crowd turn on their mayor this quickly. They, they, they're, Rowan's about to get elected. As he gets Randy Orton up, dude. Randy is so dazed. That punch took it all out of him. Went for the RKO. Rowan reverses. Randy Orton was looking for the RKO again. He's too dazed. He can't do it out of nowhere. He's, he's becoming too predictable. That punch knocked him out, and Rowan just throws him into the ropes. Eric Rowan now getting Randy Orton up. He's going for the fallaway slam again. No, this is something else. What is this? Oh, just kind of a very lazy power slam there. Oh, it's because he's tired. Eric Rowan's gassed. He's just going for desperation pins. Let's be honest, Randy's a corrupt mayor. Yeah, actually, I'm starting to realize the people just wanted to see an RKO. Randy Orton barely kicking out. The crowd going wild. He is a snake. As most politicians are. Both these men absolutely losing all of their energy here. These voters are very fickle. Rowan. Oh, getting thrown into the grating. Oh, the crowd was chanting something for a minute. Oh, he's right back up. These two facing off. He has high taxes to pay for all his tattoos. Yeah, including the copyrighted one they had to remove from the game. Oh, six. Alright, both men. Back in the ring. 
Randy do? No! No! Not like this, Randy! No! Not like this! He's gonna make sure that Eric Rowan can't challenge him for mayorship as he just punted Eric Rowan out of the country. And then hit a follow and then hit a fall away slam for good measure. An exploder. Big punch. He's not done. He's looking to end the career of Eric Rowan here. Both his wrestling and political career. Neck breaker. You've already punted him, Randy. You can't run for office if you're a vegetable. The crowd can't believe what they're seeing here. But Eric Rowan fighting back. Redwood leg lariat into the pin. One, two, three. And Eric Rowan survives the punt kick. Is that a roller coaster in the background? Dude, what the hell? Eric Rowan's first order of business as mayor of Madrid, Spain. Roller coaster. Eric Rowan survived the punt kick and got the pin on Randy Orton. You know Randy Orton would have had that if he would have just pinned after the punt kick too. He got greedy. He wanted to take out Rowan permanently. But that just goes to show you can't count the Redwood out. There it was. There's that last leg lariat that took him out. I know dunks. Wow, big excitement. And the crowd here in Madrid, very excited for that intense matchup. You look at me so happy. Look at that smile. All right. Time for our last match, our last non-title match of the evening. Again, remember. There's two title matches coming up. Uh, but first, we have a very interesting match right here. As, uh, you know, Dave, recently kind of a shame Rowan will have to be a part-timer to focus on his mayoral duties. Uh, Dave caused a ruckus at the pay-per-view, coming out and attacking Twitch chat. Not even on the same show. Well, you know what, Dave? He's been causing trouble for a while now. And, and he, he got called out. He got caught. An official notice was sent from the Shinken Gold Power Ranger. Calling out Dave. Said he's gone too far. Shinken Gold Ranger knows that Dave is hurt by the disappearance of his friend, Hideo Itami. But he needs to let go. He needs to move on. He needs to quit being a dastardly villain. And Dave told him to go fuck himself. And they're going to have a match right here tonight. I found out Braun Strowman, and we did nothing to Dave. I found out Braun Strowman's originally from Stephenville. Isn't uh, Keith Lee from Wichita Falls? I mean, I can't, I can't say the location, right? Because it's pretty close to me. But Jacob, me and you, me and you know the place I'm about to talk about. There's a, there's a, there's a town really close to us. Well, not you, because you live like two hours away. Close to me and where you used to be, uh, the Sting is from. Like, Sting is not from Dallas. This is a shoot for you. Sting like grew up in a town close to me. That's like 20 to 30 minutes, I, probably closer to 30 uh, minutes out of, out of Dallas. Uh, my uh, my cousin served coffee to him at Starbucks uh, daily for a while during his uh, his WWE stint a few years back. Crunchy dunks. Anyway, back to Dave versus Shink and Gold Ranger. Yes, that is correct. And his opponent from Japan. As far as I know, no wrestlers are near where we are. That's fair. Here we go. Dave versus the Shink and Gold Ranger. What's he doing? Oh, he's, he's got the pyro. He's juicing it. I don't remember us having those little TVs on the entrance ramp. Don't you enjoying your good crunchies? Mmm, crunchy. 
As a reminder, two big title matches coming up right after this. Green Ranger! Nope, sorry, Green Ranger retired. This is a different Power Ranger. Although we did see Slenderman earlier, who notoriously was bested by the Green Ranger in 2K16 Universe? Maybe 17. And here we go. Dave versus Shink and Gold Ranger. Dave held the WWE World Heavyweight Championship for one day before promptly losing it to Kevin Owens. All referee trying to split him up. Dave's clearly pissed. Dave doesn't like that Shink and Gold brought up his friend, Hideo Itami. Oh my god! He really doesn't like that. Hideo went missing after the meteor crashed and destroyed most of the WrestleMania battlefield. Presumed dead, among many others. Irish whip off the ropes. The power gauntlet. Uh, that's uh, that's a that's a enhanced arm he gave himself. A ju He's got all right. Here he's got the uh, Dave upgrade himself. He gave himself a bionic arm. There's nothing wrong with his regular arm. He just juiced himself. That little medallion on his chest. He stole that from a museum. It's a magic power medallion. Uh, and his bandana says Dave. And all of those things give him extra power. New and improved advanced heal Dave. Who took a who took a the path to the dark side after his only friend was killed by the meteor. And I, I bet I bet Dave would love more Dave. More Dave. I need more Dave. Oh, what a punch with the power gauntlet into an eggbreaker. You know, Dave would probably want to be on that Survivor Series team to try and save people from the meteor. You would think that's what he wants. I don't think Dave cares about anyone else. He could, he could, you, he could, he could be like Shink and Gold Ranger. He could be a good guy. He could have taken these, these, these feelings he has and took it as a path of vengeance against the meteor. But instead, here he is, just causing trouble. Oh my God! <laughs> Pop up. Bionic punch and Shink and Gold Ranger gets right back up with multiple clotheslines to Dave here. Dude, the crowd loves it's a hot crowd here in Madrid, Spain. DDT to Dave. Rolling him over for the DD for, for, for the pin. One. No! Dave kicking out of the DDT at one. Hello, Dunker. Ooh, chunky. Ooh. Shinking Gold Ranger has Dave up. Shitty Samoan driver. I should really give the Shinking Gold Ranger a real finisher. Dave kicking out. You ain't gonna beat him with a fucking shitty fucking driver. Multiple punches from Dave. As he goes for the. Oh, he went for a roundhouse kick. Gold Ranger just caught his leg and snapped it. I forgot who won the altercation between us and Dave. I actually think Twitch chat beat the shit out of Dave, but I don't remember. Oh, big burp. Big burp from Dunker who crawls up here. Welcome. Welcome to the commentary booth, Dunks. Thanks for coming up to the mic to burp. Another running neck breaker by Dave. Sit out, Blockbuster. Trying to finish. Why does the. Oh my god! The old. The super bionic punch to Shank and Gold Ranger. That might have taken his head off. He put all of his power into that uppercut. But Shank and Gold Ranger still kicked out, and the crowd loves it. The crowd's thrilled. Oh, and there's Dave's finisher. Boosted by that bionic atomic arm. And the crowd hates it. He's taunting to the crowd. What? 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? Shake it, Gold Ranger apparently has teleportation powers. <laughs> what? <laughs> it looks like Dave isn't the only one with some kind of power medallion. The the Shake and Gold Ranger must have his own medallion that gives him superpowers. The, the, the leg chop to the back of the head. <laughs> Is that the Shinken Gold Ranger? And he's got him up for the Shinken Samoan driver. 
in the pit. One, two, three. I can't believe what we've just seen here. Dunks is in shock. Dunks can't believe what we've just witnessed, and neither can I. That's a huge victory, pinning a former world champion. I have, I, I mean, I have no idea what we just witnessed here. I don't think Dave particularly knows what he's witnessed here, but he's got to be embarrassed. He got his ass kicked by Twitch chat. He got his ass kicked by Shink and Gold Ranger. Absolutely insane. What, what a, what a match here. I know Dunk's crazy. Damn, Dave, four and three, former champion, unbelievable. Oh, you tell them, Dunks. You hit those squeaks. Burp, burp, burp. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for our first of two title matches of the evening. Oh, Dunks be killing it. Dunks be murdering. Dunks, you hit the, the open email button. It's gonna be AJ Styles versus Daniel Bryan for the WWE Global Championship. Curtis Axel knows these two were very good. Daniel Bryan, he held his championship for a month before losing it to Dave. I think it was in a triple threat match. But, uh, I'm pretty sure it was. Either way, maybe I'm mistaken. Curtis Axel wants to make sure we have a right champion. And you know what? Unlike, you know, Daniel Bryan, he's a little despicable. Uh, you know, he, he, he's joined out here, as you see him pop into existence, with that zombified Robbie Rotten, that, that brainwashed Robbie Rotten. Who knows what Daniel Bryan did to him. He's a real despicable fiend. Uh, but you know what? So is uh, AJ Styles. So really a balanced match if you have two assholes. Taking each other on. Uh, for, to see who's the better champion. Uh, which is more than I can say for our main event. Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens. Pure nepotism by Curtis Axel. Putting Seth Rollins in the title match. I don't know if he really has uh, Aftermath's best interests in mind with that title match. I don't know if he has the, the, best, the best interest for Aftermath in mind at all. Considering he's risking his talent. They could be all sent to the meteor. They, they, they could get clean swept beaten by Starfall. That's why most of them didn't show up here today. I know, Dunks. Dunks can't believe it. He's got his ears up. He said, what the hell? Unbelievable. You know, Daniel Bryan, he has to have an edge over AJ Styles. Has Daniel Bryan challenged for the Global Championship before? No, I be I think Daniel Bryan was only ever in world title contention. I don't believe he ever challenged for the Global Championship. AJ Styles had a grueling match with Aleister Black at Straight to Hell. They, they, I think they just had a regular. And the champion, or did they have a uh, Hell in a Cell? No, they had a regular match. It was Buddy Murphy and Sheldon Benjamin. Either way, AJ Styles defending his title less than 24 hours ago. Making his way to the ring now to defend it yet again against a tough competitor, Daniel Bryan. And I gotta be honest with you, you know, AJ Styles, I think he's the second. How's AJ doing at that? that oh, All right, he got fucked up against Black, didn't he? You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. Unbiased, just my professional opinion. AJ Styles, second longest reigning champion here in Universe Mode, 12 weeks. I think his run might come to an end tonight. I, I think, I think Daniel Bryan, especially with the help of Robbie Rotten, might get the edge on the champion. Don't choose your money on. Give me, give me a book. AJ Styles? 
Daniel Bryan. Uh-oh, Dunk says it's coming to an end, brother. Daniel Bryan, he's gonna become a he's gonna become a two-time champion. He's gonna hold both the belts. Except not at once. He held one before, he's gonna hold this one too. AJ Styles, he's just not in fighting form to take on a professional like Daniel Bryan. Don't go snoops here. Alright, here we go. Has there been a triple crown champion before in the universe? Uh, I don't believe so, no. Oh my god, he went for the running knee right of the gate, but AJ Styles avoided it. Daniel Bryan just put, tried to put him away instantly. He immediately went for the running knee. He immediately went for the running knee. But AJ Styles, he's a professional himself, and he had it scouted. Immediately, Bryan's working over the leg of AJ Styles, wants to make it impossible for him to jump and hit that phenomenal forearm. Bryan with the Hurricane Rana. I, th I, th I think I think this is it. I think the champion's in trouble. Double underhook, just throwing him aside. AJ Styles is two days from his match with Aleister Black. But with a backbreaker to Daniel Bryan, he's starting to turn things around. Big chop. Oh, and Bryan just pushes him away. Kicking Styles down. Drop kick to the face. Look at the height. Daniel Bryan got there. Styles able to fight back. Kicks him in the gut. Oh my god! Is AJ Styles going to try and pin off that clothesline? That was a nasty clothesline. What? No, not even a one count. As devastating as that clothesline was. Not nearly enough. Styles has him up. Ooh, roll through kind of move. I don't have no idea what to call it, to be honest with you. It's a cool move. Float over. Cross arm breaker. Trying to get Daniel Bryan to tap out. Both these men hitting each other with big moves quickly. These two men feel like they could out-wrestle each other. But that in of itself makes them balance. So they're just trying to wipe each other out as soon as possible. They know the threat that they are to each other. Another float over cross arm breaker. But Daniel Bryan had his feet in the ropes. Now Daniel Bryan from behind drops AJ Styles on his head. Styles gets him up from behind. German suplex. Uh-oh. Styles not in a great place. Remember, whoever wins this most likely will be the person facing off against Shelton Benjamin. Spinning back fist at Survivor Series. Oh, powerbomb as it's going to be global champion versus terabyte champion. Big knee to the face of Daniel Bryan. You know what? I'm starting to think. One of these two guys is the correct person to have in that title match. Both these men doing an extreme job here. Northern Light suplex to Styles. Oh, Brian. Tell him to come look at this. Locking in the heel hook. Working over AJ Styles' leg. But Styles able to kick out of it. Styles has him up. He's going to do that wacky move again. No! Ushigoroshi! Styles gets him up slowly. What's he planning? What's he going to do to Daniel Bryan here? Has him on one knee. Oh, but Bryan able to fight out of it. Flips him down. Working that knee again. Again, locking in. This leg submission maneuver. Just... It worked! I am in disbelief. Daniel Bryan, from the moment this match started, worked over that left leg of AJ Styles. And he locked in the, the heel hook, and he tapped the champion out. There he was, working it again earlier. And he just, he locked it in again, and that was it. AJ Styles, just too injured. After his match against Aleister Black, Daniel Bryan came in here with a game plan. He picked apart the weekend champion. And Daniel Bryan is your new WWE Global Champion.
didn't even need Robbie Rotten's help. Just took him out with skill alone, a 4-1 record. Daniel Bryan has now held both singles titles here in Universe Mode. Global Championship and World Championship. Maybe we'll see him go for the tag titles at some point. Who knows? No, could be, could be, no, could be. need to take care of something real quick uh give me just a moment and i will return i have to fix something dunks uh is out of water had to use the restroom who won uh daniel bryan run da look, daniel bryan won and i have to get dunks some water he's a thirsty boy so give me just a moment and i will be right actually he needs to pee so give me a moment give me just a minute i'll be right back
All right, I'm back. I apologize for the wait. He super had to go potty. But we're good now. We are loading up our main event of the evening. Seth Rollins with Curtis Axel versus Kevin Owens. It's not a championship. The ice game fucking sucks so much ass. This game is so fucking bad. It made it a non-title match. I fucking hate this game so much. Why did it fucking revert to non-title? I gotta listen to this. I need to hear him announce it. Yeah, it, it's not a... It, it just took away the fact that it's a title match? Hold up, I'm skipping the inches. We're about to run this in fucking exhibition mode. Yeah, it really did! This game's fucking stupid. Alright, well we're about to uh, go run this in exhibition real quick. For the fucking title. So we can get our good fucking title entrance. This game's fucking stinky. Is there a way to manually set the champion in the universe? Yes, I'm pretty sure there is. That's not what I wanted. Fucking. This is, this is what happens. This is what happens when the show fucking falls apart. Trying to check something. Am I like fucking insane? Wasn't there wasn't there a thing in exhibition? Where do you go to set the title on someone in exhibition mode? Like, how do you change your fucking titles? I feel like this is just missing. Is it extras? No. Roster? It is roster, okay. I'm gonna put the title on Kevin Owens real quick. Yes, hello, where's the WWE Championship? That's the Universal Championship? Where's the WWE Championship? There it is. And put it on Kevin Owens. Don't you just love this game? Isn't this game so good? There we go. Except. play one on one normal match options arena the the baseball field okay i think we're just about got it Entrance is off. This is taking too long already. All 
I'm sorry, gamers. No entrances for this. They fucking... They wasted our time. Confirm. Kevin Owens. The show's ran long already anyway. Championship. Absolutely. There it is. Click. Start title match. Here we go. WWE Championship. Seth Rollins versus Kevin Owens. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. I'm sorry this took so long. I'm sorry this was a huge issue. Aftermath is in shambles. Nothing can ever go right in this stupid company. And here we go. This title match is underway. And immediately, a big knee from the Messiah of the Meteor, Seth Rollins. As he DDTs Kevin Owens and goes for the pin. Oh, Kevin Owens, of course, had a very long match against Drew McIntyre at Straight to Hell that nobody cared about. Oh, he just kind of strolled back on. So, you know, he's got to be tired. This is absolutely a screw job from general manager Curtis Axel to get the title onto his man, Seth Rollins. And don't forget, you know, we kind of glossed over it. Ed beat Curtis Axel in Hell in a Cell to regain control of straight to uh, fucking aftermath. I'm having a stroke. But Seth Rollins just sent Ed the, the meteor. Just launched him off into space with a rocket. Tiny little rocket. Stuck it on him. Is Curtis accompanying Rollins? No, he had to run backstage uh, when he realized nobody brought the title to ringside. <laughs> when, the, when the whole main event fell apart, he had to run backstage. Oh, pin! He was gonna accompany Rollins to ringside. But then he was too busy fixing the fucking show. Rollins going for the big boot. But Kevin Owens reversing it. We've already seen one title change hands here tonight. Will we see another? Now I can't help but notice that the Killmongers are the only champions who do not have to defend their titles here tonight. And that's probably because Curtis Axel realizes uh, just, keep the, just keep them fresh. Keep the Killmongers fresh. Don't waste any time. Don't, don't let like pamper them. They will win. <laughs> at start at uh at Survivor Series, do not drain them. Rollins now with the pin on to Kevin Owens who kicks out. Rollins grabbing Owens by the head, multiple elbows, trying to do some big boo boo damage. On the one hand, it sucks that the show fell apart. But on the other hand, it is now a fair match. That's very true. But is it really fair, considering what Kevin Owens had to go through less than 24 hours ago at the pay-per-view? But at least Curtis Axel can't interfere with the match. That is correct. Big punch from Rollins. Big chop from Rollins. Just to be very clear, right? Just to be very clear. It's not like I forgot anything. Legitimately... This was a title match when I started the show, and by the time we got to the main event, Universe Mode removed the title part of the match. Kevin Owens going for the pin off the cannonball, didn't quite work. Oh, Rollins going for the discus form. Wait, off the ropes. Oh my god! Very point blank range pop up power bomb. One, two, three. He smashed it. He fucking squashed Seth Rollins. He absolutely demolished Seth Rollins here in this main event. Rollins barely got any offense in. All that buildup, all that fucking hoopla of the show falling apart just for Owens to squish him. All of, why are all of the highlights Seth Rollins? They're on the payroll, brother. These, the, the replay maker getting paid off by Curtis Axel. Oh, and there's that cannonball that promptly led to the pop-up power bomb. We're not even going to show it. Kevin Owens retaining the WWE World Heavyweight Championship.
still your WWE Champion. The crowd makes this show much. The crowd made the crowd made this show much more entertaining. What a hot crowd! Probably the best crowd ever here in Madrid, Spain. Well, thank you all for coming to Aftermath, and I will see you next time.